10 things you think are important for SEO that are not really that important for SEO. First thing, having multiple websites for your business is a bad practice for SEO. When you have multiple websites for your business, basically what happens is you take two unknown new brands and you put them in front of Google. Now you as the business owner, you may know that your one company is a really good brand and a really good company. The problem is, is Google doesn't know that. And so if you take two brands and you try to rank them on Google, you're essentially doubling the amount of work that you do to get ranked on Google. Now, for most of you guys, that's a problem because SEO, working with agencies, they're super expensive. And so you wanna focus on having one brand, one domain. If you think about some of the big companies out there, for instance, there's a moving company business called Two Men in a Truck. If you look at their website, it is a one brand domain with multiple sub pages of their locations. Now what they get to do is they get to build all their authority and all their brand value into that one domain and then they get to go and build from there. The second thing that you think is important for SEO that is not important is content-based blogs. The problem with content-based blogs is they target an array of a buyer's journey. Before they're even willing to call or get in touch with somebody is one stage of the buyer's journey. The second stage is when they're looking to actually make some decisions in the buying process. And the third stage is like afterwards. With content-based blogs, it focuses a shotgun approach on all these buyer stages in that journey. And the reason why a lot of SEO companies do it is because it increases traffic, a ton of traffic to your website, which is really great when they're trying to send you a report and say all the great things that they've done and all look at all the traffic that's gone up. The problem with that is that you're not actually getting sales. Oh my. Oh my. And so one of the things that you have to be very careful on with content-based SEO and content-based blogging, especially as a service-based business, is ultimately to get the most bang for your buck. And I would argue that the biggest bang for your buck is focusing on your Google business profile ranking. At the end of the day, when someone types in moving companies near me, it's the Google business profile that you have with all your reviews that's going to give you the most value and the most bang for your buck. So in your first year of SEO, don't focus so much on content-based blogging. Focus on ranking that Google business profile. The third thing about SEO that you think is important that's really not important is Google Ads. I hear this misconception all the time. Someone's like, oh, you know, when I started Google Ads, my SEO started going up. And at the end of the day, it's just not true. And Google even says this, SEO and Google Ads have no correlation together. Some might argue they do, but it's not proven, it's not true, and we have plenty of clients ranking in the top spots of Google who aren't even using Google Ads in their SEO process with us. Although Google Ads is a wonderful marketing channel, it is not going Going to make the difference between your SEO. If you are ready to go fight on a hill and say, yes, it made a difference, I would argue the biggest thing is that your SEO hit and your SEO results started showing results around the same time that you started Google Ads. Or you're getting confused with the attribution of who's coming in through Google Ads and who's coming in through organic listing. The fourth thing that you think is important for SEO, or especially when picking an SEO company, is that you think that more products and more services that this company is offering the better, and it's simply not true. In fact, some of the biggest companies that offer SEO do not do a good job with SEO for small, local, service-based businesses. In fact, some of them are focused on big national brands, and that SEO strategy is completely different than someone who's a local business that offers services to their local neighborhood and their local area. SEO is an important aspect for an agency to have, but you want an agency that's focused on going deep into SEO and is focused on the type of clients that you're in. SEO has many different variations, there's many different ways of doing it, and you want an SEO company that's so focused on SEO that it's potentially their only service that they offer, dominating in SEO, and they're not just dabbling in SEO. That will give you the lowest amount of risk when you sign up for their company. The fifth thing that you think is important for SEO, and it's really not important for SEO, is picking a ton of keywords to go after. The problem with this method is like you're going to the shooting range and you're you're trying to hit multiple targets at once. You're gonna to have to take a shotgun approach to the situation and more likely than not, you are not gonna hit the target. And the same thought process goes into your SEO strategy. There's a reality that you could go after 10 highly relevant, sales relevant keywords and get more results than going
going after 100 keywords. And so you really want to think through how relevant are the keywords that your company or that you yourself are going after? How relevant is that to the success of your business versus how relevant it is to go after 100 keywords that may not bring value to your business? Like at the end of the day, who cares if you're ranking for something like moving companies that are in Chicago, South Side, wearing red shoes? Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. It's easy to rank for, but it's not going to bring you any sales. And the second part of that is that the more keywords you are focused on trying to hit, the more money you're going to have to spend. If you do not do that, you are running the risk of spreading yourself thin and ultimately not moving the needle anywhere in the next 12 to 24 months with SEO and coming to an end of it, spending 24 months of money and going and seeing that there's no return on your investment. The sixth thing that you think is important for SEO that really is not important for SEO is the more backlinks, the better. Now remember what a backlink is. A backlink is when another website backlinks, links to your website. That is considered a backlink. Write that down, write that down! And the value of backlinks rang from a positive backlink to a negative affecting backlink in your business. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Here's the problem with backlinks. It is more advantageous, more often, for you to get smaller volume backlinks, right? Less backlinks than it is for you to get this mass amount of spammy backlinks. I'm a whiskey drinker, so if you think about this in whiskey, the cheaper volume whiskey, pour it into the glass, swirl it around as I said to you before, throw it out. Is not better than that beautiful single barrel whiskey. The same thing goes with backlinks. Think about this. If you got yourself ranked on CNN.com or Apple.com gave you a shout out on your website. That value of that one backlink is gonna take you so much further than all of these small backlinks from other small providers that Google ultimately doesn't value. Google knows what kind of backlinks you're going for and Google knows what kind of value these backlinks are bringing to the table. And so you are more often than not better going after 10 quality, high value backlinks than 100 mediocre, not valuable backlinks. Number seven of the things that you think are important for SEO that are really not important for SEO. You ready for this? It's gonna be a little controversial. Building a website for SEO is actually not that important. Probably shocked by what you're saying right now. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, what is the purpose for SEO? Think, think, think. The purpose for SEO is to get you, the business owner, more sales, period, done. Not exactly rocket science, now is it? And if you start building and focusing on building a website for SEO, you start to lose the focus on building the website for sales, conversions, brand value, trust, and authority. And so those are the things that you really wanna focus on when you're building a website. I would argue a good built website that's focused on sales, brand value, building trust, is going to be way more important important than building a website that is for quote unquote SEO. Now that the website is built for sales, now you can start working on implementing the SEO strategy and optimizing SEO in the website. But don't start off thinking about building a website that's focused on SEO only when you really need to be focused on sales on your website. How good does my website look? And is it bringing trust to the person who's exploring on my website? Number eight of things that you think are important for SEO and are not important for SEO is your domain domain name. In the past, years ago, domain names were really important for ranking on Google. Getting a domain like Moving Companies Gilbert, Movers Chicago, Plumbers New York. Those used to be really popular names and domains to get and you would be able to rank well with those domains. That is no longer the case. The algorithm is starting to really favor a well-built brand. And so it is better for you to focus on getting your one brand domain, focusing all your value of SEO into building your brand online and showing Google that your brand is valuable on Google and building that one domain. Picking domains, getting those spam emails from companies that are saying, hey, I'll sell you movingcompanieschicago.com. It is not valuable for you to purchase those anymore. Build your brand and that's the best thing you can do for SEO. Number nine on things you think are important for SEO that is really not important is the fact that you think SEO is a silver bullet. 
you as a business owner need to be really focused on building an array of marketing strategies that are gonna bring new clients and new customers to your business. SEO is a phenomenal strategy, is a long-term strategy, but it's not your only strategy. It shouldn't be the thing that you rely on and think it's going to solve all your business problems. Remember, a good SEO strategy coupled with a badly run business is never going to work. You could have a thousand leads coming in from SEO, but if you have a bad sales process, you don't answer your phone, the salesperson can't convert, you're never going to get the value out of SEO. So remember, a bad business with a good SEO strategy is still a bad business. Number 10 of things that you think are important for SEO, but are really not important for SEO. Do you think doing SEO, no matter what, is better than not doing SEO? And I am here to tell you that that is 100% false. When will the lies end? There is so many things you can do in SEO that will negatively affect your rankings and your business. There are a number of things you can do without hiring an SEO agency to gain you traction with SEO. And that is not a bad strategy. You can go and get a ton of reviews to your Google business profile. You can start finding partners and partner businesses that you guys can link back to each other for SEO. There are so many things you can do that are good for SEO, but not implementing an SEO strategy. And I would argue that is better than implementing a bad SEO strategy that's cheap and going after bad links, bad content that will tank your business. And sometimes it'll take you a lot more money to recover from that. So that's it. That's 10 things that you think are important for SEO that are really not that important. And the whole purpose is for you to take this and go back and decide what you're actually thinking is important in your SEO strategy. If you're gonna go and hire an SEO agency, make sure that they're not focused on these things that are not that important. If you're gonna go do SEO on your own, make sure you're not doing old, outdated strategies. And the most important thing is probably just don't do SEO yourself. Go find a really good agency that's focused focus on just SEO, go hire them and let them do the work for you. And you as a business owner, get a focus on watching them, keeping them accountable and seeing the results of the fruit of your labor.